There are many theories that try to explain how the Earth came to be and evolved into the Earth that we know now. If we believe these theories and compare the structure of the Earth before and now, we may be surprised at the major changes that the Earth has undergone. This lesson will explain the forces that have changed and are continuing to change the Earth. Many forces contribute to the shaping of the Earth. Some come from deep within the Earth, while others affect mostly the surface of the Earth. Some happen slowly, while others are rapid and abrupt. The natural processes that continuously shape the Earth are the weathering and erosion. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks into soil or smaller sediments, while erosion includes weathering and transport of sediments from one place and depositing them to another. There are several factors that cause weathering and erosion. The first one is water. Raindrops can fall at speed of about 22 miles an hour. Rain can slowly erode rocks and the soil where they land. They can also wash away loose topsoil, especially in areas without plants or trees, to hold the soil together. Rain is also slightly acidic. The acid reacts with the elements in the rock or soil and causes it to loosen or break down. Water is also the most versatile tool for weathering. Flowing water has the ability to carve the areas on its path. It can slowly break down the rocks beside and beneath them and wash them to lower areas. They can wear away rocks to form valleys and canyons. The Grand Canyon in Arizona, USA, is the result of million years of weathering and erosion, mainly due to the Great Colorado River. Tidal waves are strong forces that can scrape the surfaces of the land they hit. They crash into the surfaces and may cause loosening and breaking down of rocks. Then they carry loose sediments away and deposit them elsewhere. The vertical nature of cliffs is due to the strong wave included erosion. The second agent of weathering and erosion is the wind. Wind can drastically change the landscape of an area. Strong winds can carry large amounts of sediments from one place to another. In certain places where winds encounter an obstacle, this can slowly chip up that obstacle until the entire obstacle is gone. The sediments they carry may also hit other surfaces that causes changes to the surface they hit. Wind may be slower in weathering and eroding the surface of the earth, but it affects over a period of time undoubtedly obvious. The third agent is temperature and sunlight. Daily changes in temperature also causes expanding and contracting of the soil. This leads to loosened particles that can be washed off by water or blown by the wind. This is common in deserts. Freezing also causes weathering. It forms glaciers that are agents of weathering. If water is dropped inside the rock and it freezes, it would expand. This could cause rocks to crack. Then it melts and turns into liquid. It breaks rocks into smaller particles. In the next part of this lesson, we will be discussing the natural disasters that shape the Earth.